Hi guys, I have another workout for you today. It is called 900 Reps to Death. I'll post this so that you guys can see it because um, I'm just going to show it quickly right here. But there are nine different exercises. Um, the first eight are going to be 50 reps and then the very last exercise is going to be 500 reps. So let's get going. I'm going to do a tutorial right now and then I've posted my workout so you guys can actually see me doing it. So let's get going. Exercise number one is a weighted squat with a kick out. So grab some weight. I'm going to use my ultimate sandbag. For your weights, I prefer them to, for you to put them on your shoulder. I'm going to put mine behind my shoulders. And you're going to do a squat and then you're going to kick out forward. So I want your feet slightly out a little bit and then when you squat I want you to stick your bottom out like you're going to sit down in a chair, bend your knees, go as far down as you can, thrust yourself back up and as you're coming up I want you to kick out one leg in front of you. Again, squat, kick, squat, kick. So you're going to switch legs each time. Um, if you're a beginner, don't use any weight at all. And you'll put your hands on your hips and you'll do the same thing. Squat, kick out. Switch legs. Squat, kick out. And if you're more advanced, then pack on as much weight as you possibly can. You'll do 50 reps of this exercise. And as soon as you're done with that, move on to exercise number two. We're only going to go through each of these one time. And that's it. For exercise number two, it is a push-up and you walk your hands forward and back. I've also heard of this is called uh, an inchworm. So you're going to get into the pike position Excuse me, you're going to get in the push-up position. And what you're going to do is a push-up, and then you're going to walk your hands all the way to your feet. And then walk them all the way back. Do a push-up. And continue to do that until you've done all 50 of these. For beginners, do your push-ups on your knees, uh, but you will still do the same walking forward and walking back on your hands. So for a beginner, start on your knees, do a push-up, but then get off your knees and walk your hands. This is a time challenge, so go through this as quickly as you can. Don't sacrifice form, so make sure you do the accurate form, but do it as quickly as you Exercise can. Exercise number three is jump tucks. So 50 reps, you're going to do these as quickly as you can, but I want you to drive your knees up as high as you can. I don't want you to just jump. I want you to drive your knees up as high as you can. When you land, I want you to land softly on the balls of your feet. And as quickly as you land, I want you to jump again. So again, that's about as fast of a pace as I want you to go. So that was exercise number three. You're going to do 50 reps. Exercise number four is a half burpee and jump to the side. You can use anything from a towel or I use my ultimate sandbag. This is a 
gauge as for something to jump over. So you can use a towel, wad it up, just lay it down on the ground. You can use your weight, your, your dumbbell. Just set anything that you can jump over. So a half burpee is without the push-up. So 50 reps. You're going to jump. Put your hands down on the ground. Jump back. Jump forward. And then jump over what you have. That's one rep. So again, hands on the ground. Jump your feet back. Jump them forward quickly. Jump over. That's exercise number four. You're going to do 50 reps. Exercise number five is dynamic jumping jacks. So regular jumping jack, right? So a dynamic jumping jack is you're going to jump up. And on the way down, you're going to go all the way down and hug your knees. And then power up again. You're going to jump up. You're always going to stay on the balls of your feet. And jump up like a regular party of the jumping jack. I'm still on the balls of my feet. Jump down. Grab my knees. And then again, blast up. 50 reps of that. That is exercise number five. There are nine total, so four more to go. Exercise number six is a knee tuck um, out and then across your body. So you're going to get down in the plank position and you're going to basically all we're doing are knee tucks. So one tuck is going to be out like a reptile and then tuck it across your body, underneath, across your body. So each tuck I want you to twist. So when I'm tucking out, I'll do it this way, maybe it's easier to see. When I'm tucking out, I'm going to tuck but I'm going to twist and look, basically you're going to look at your knee. I want you to drive it. So the exercise looks like this. One is out this way, same knee, now I want you to cross it underneath. And that's it. That is exercise number six. For exercise number seven, I'm going to use my sandbag again. You can use your weights, but I would prefer something a little softer that you can throw under your shoulder. Um, so, first thing I want you to do, this is called a shoulder lift burpee with a jump tuck. So I'm going to start with my weight on the ground. I'm going to pick it up and put it over my opposite shoulder. Then I'm going to do a squat. Then I'm going to drop it down by that same, the same side foot. I'm going to do a burpee with the push-up. And when I jump, I'm going to do a tuck. So if you have just dumbbells or free weights, then just pick it up. You can do the same thing. Hold it on your opposite shoulder. Do a squat. Set it back down on that same side. Then get down. Do a burpee with the push-up. Jump forward. Tuck. So I'll do it quickly so you can see it. For a modified version, use a light weight. So you'll pick up the light weight. I'm going to pretend. <laughs> pick up your light weight and just hold it on your opposite shoulder. Do your squat. Set it down. Jump back into the plank position. Go 
go to your knees and do a push up from your knees. Step forward and jump up. And that's it. That's exercise number seven. You're going to do 50 reps of that. So we have two more exercises and we're done. Exercise number six is a crunch with a leg switch. So you're going to need your mat and you're going to lay down on the ground and you're going to crunch but each time you're going to switch your legs up in the air like scissor legs. So for one you're going to put your hands behind your head and then when you crunch up take your hands and put them on either side of your leg and then back Crunch, switch, crunch, switch, crunch, switch, crunch, switch, crunch, and so on. And that's exercise number eight, 50 reps. And on to the last exercise, which is the killer. The last exercise is uh, 500 high knees. And at first it doesn't sound like it could be too hard. But after the first hundred high knees, I was ready to be done. But I powered through it. I broke it up into a hundred each, taking a small sip of water and a few breaths before I kept going on to each hundred. So if that helps, do that. If you can power through the whole thing, please, by all means, do it. But I don't want you to feel faint. I don't want you to feel sick. I want you to just listen to your body and do what you need to do. So for me, it was taking short breaks after each hundred. So high knees, I'm sure you know what they are. You're going to drive your knees up one at a time. Try to get your knees up past your belly button if you can. And it's running in place with just your high knees in front of you. So you're going to drive. One, two, three. And that's it. I'm not even halfway done. This is gonna kick your ass. <sighs> I 
That's so hard. I'm only on number six. Stay with me, you guys, come on. So get ready, it is a sweater. I can't believe how hard I sweat. I sweat probably about an hour and a half to two hours after I did this workout. This is um, a long one too. It's not one of my typical 20 minute workouts. It took me about 45 minutes to get through. So if you can beat that, please do. I wanna hear from you. Let me know that you beat me. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.